I don't mean to flash you all, but Homura for life! Yo, what is up everybody? I am Mama Yoshiko. Welcome to my channel if you're new here, or welcome back to my channel, mother freaka! Long, long ago, during my middle school emo phase, which is still not a phase because here I am with my emo anime shirt, and still wearing black skinny jeans and black strap shirts to keep the emo in 2020. And yesterday I caught myself listening to My Chemical Romance and Escape the Fate. It wasn't a phase, Mom! It wasn't a phase. Either way, during those times until now, I have accumulated a list of types of anime husbandos that I have noticed through my times of being a freaking weeb. And today, we're gonna expose some hoes. Also, do not kill me. I made up this list. This is not accurate or anything. If you do not agree with me, please don't hate me. If you do not agree with me, please do not hate me. I made all this shit up by myself. This means nothing. This means no credibility. I am not no anime expertise, so don't even consider myself an anti-tuber. Take this list with a grain of salt, and um, let's just enjoy um, being thirsty hoes together. This is types of anime husbandos. Lego. Ow. Type number one, the redhead shark teeth boys. These boys either appear very, very intimidating because fucking red death, red blood, and they're friggin' shark teeth. Hello, I'm not messing with Shark Week. But deep down, they are just literal sweethearts, the sweetest boys in the world, and they just need a in a hug! And for some, maybe they are just genuine freaking sweethearts. Some examples, we got Rin Matsuoka from Free Iwatobi Swim Club and Kirishima from Boku no Hero. Or, they are literally psychotic. And I'm talking about Grell from Black Butler. And even though it's not an anime, I'm throwing it in there, Alistair. But we love him, don't we? Because I do. And if this is your anime husbando type, you're probably very calm and cool collected as a person, but deep down, you are batshit crazy. You a little freak, you a little freaky, and I freaking know it. A little bit understood, but deep down, you just a sweet little cinnamon roll. Anime husbando type number two. These group of boys are what I like to call the blonde explosion boys. These are just always screaming about something. Whether they're trying to attack their boyfriend or their freaking rival, they're just always screaming, either with a stop sign or just literal fire in their fucking hands. They're literally just a ball of blood rage. And don't we love it? Don't we, ladies? Damn, it's hot when they screaming, aren't they? And I'm talking about Bakugo Katsuki from Boku no Hero, Shizu Heiwajima from Dudarada, and some other honorable mentions, Yuri Plasinski from Yuri on Ice, and Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist. And if this is your husband, though, I'm sure you also got a little rage in you, too. I bet you were just a ball of ticking time bomb. You probably always got people testing you, and you are just ready to go at any waking moment. Number three, they're smart, but literally insane. Like certifiable, I could probably diagnose them with sociopathism or something. That, that's not a word. These boys are very, very cunning, petting my evil cats. Very cunning, very intelligent, can conduct the perfect murder and not get caught. Boys, my heart is guilty of falling for. We talking about Izaya Orihara from Durarara, Karma Akabane from Assassination Classroom, freaking Light Yagami from Death Note, Lelouch from Code Geass, the, you get the type. And if this is your anime husbando type, you probably listen to Yagami Yato, Akira Dubs, and Saku VA. Don't worry, cause I do too. <laughs> or maybe you're just plotting world domination cause everyone on this earth is a fucking idiot and everyone's trying you every day and you're just waiting for that one moment to strike and just murder the whole ancient society. My batteries die, why? I'm in the zone. Number four, glasses wearing ass. Glasses wearing assholes. And this is one I will take to the grave. This one, the Lord, please forgive me. This is one I am so guilty of. If it is not obvious, this type has two requirements. One, wear glasses. Two, be a fucking asshole. These guys are always dicks. Like, they're like the biggest assholes. They like cut you with their words like a fucking blade. They're so mean. And all these boys on this list, I would not mind to have them step on me. 
on any holy day. I'm talking Saruhiko Fushimi from K-Project, Reiji Sakamaki from Diabolic Lovers, Yakuya Togami from Danganronpa, Kyoya Otori from Oran High School Host Club. I am a fucking hoe for these dudes. I don't know why, I don't know how. These guys can literally tear me down limb from limb with their words. And I would gladly say, Thank you, daddy. <laughs> Take me to jail. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding you. One time I cosplayed Junko and Oshima from Danganronpa, and I was in like a cosplay group, and there was a dude cosplaying Yakuya Togami, and he's like my fucking favorite, like my boyfriend. I love him. And I was telling him, you know, break my shit. You know, come on, fucking give it to me good. And he was like, you are trash. You are disgusting. You are the insect I step on with my boot. And I'm like, yes, go on, please. Dear Lord, I am disgusting. And that is okay. There's a trash can waiting for me outside where I belong. And if this is your husbando, you probably like being thrown against the wall. <laughs> and I'm assuming you probably smart as shit and you are probably the badass honcho of your entire squad. And last but certainly not least, we got number five, the derpy perverts. These group of boys are literally chasing anything with two legs, titties, and a hoo-ha. They like a little inappropriate. Their behavior is like not okay. But they're like, but at the same time, they're cute, they're funny, they're charming, and for some reason we excuse their perverted behavior. But for some reason they're always so fucking cute and so innocent in somehow some way I don't know I can't explain it and for example of these dudes Sanji from One Piece, Maroku from Inuyasha, and Shigure from Fruits Basket and we can't forget about our childhood Brock from Pokemon they may be a little creepy but if you close and you're actually friends with them you probably might even think they're okay and if this is your husband to type I bet you're a little bit of a goofball maybe a little class clown but under all that exterior you just want someone to love you and that's all you want and that is my top five anime boy husbando types I had this video idea for a really long time but I don't know I just didn't I wasn't sure if you guys would be into it but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you let me know in the comments and maybe I'll make more cuz I got a whole list of these bad boys all for you guys but um yeah that is it for this video and I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for joining my Weave family. I love you very much and I will see you next time. Bye!